What's going on there guys? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is a bit of a tutorial on the newly announced Red Snow Jailbreak for iOS version 4.3.1. Now for those of you that know me all that well, you know that I'm huge on the jailbreaking scene. I've been jailbreaking since uh, firmware 1.1.4, so since the very beginning on the original iPhone, you know, pre-App Store, pre-everything else, I've been big in on the community, and uh, I just really know my way around uh, jailbreaking, and it's something that I've really loved. Now, there's a lot of people out there that don't really know how to jailbreak, and for those of you, I've created a lot of helpful videos in the past. Search Idiot's Guide to Jailbreaking, because I kind of tell you the basics of jailbreaking, why you'd want to do it, and the benefits for you. Now tonight, and I mean just like less than 15 minutes ago, the iPhone dev team released a new version of Ponage Tool and Red Snow. These are both jailbreaking utilities. Ponage Tool is more for those of uh, you that need to unlock or they want custom boot images or, you know, a lot of special stuff installed. Now for the basic users, people who don't want to have to restore their firmware, they're going to want to use Red Snow. Now, Red Snow is very easy. The link is below. It's on Mac and PC, so don't worry. I, even though I'm in a Mac environment, it'll work just fine for you, uh, Windows XP, Vista, and Windows 7 users. So, it's really easy, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, you're going to need Red Snow itself. Again, the download is below. And then you're going to need the corresponding IPSW. Now, this is the firmware file that we're going to customize in Red Snow. Now, this is uh, different for every device, whether it be a third generation iPod Touch or iPhone 3GS or iPhone 4 or iPad, you know, there's a bunch of different firmwares and uh, all the ones that Red Snow supports, I'm going to put below. So you can find your device and you're good to go. If your device isn't down there, unfortunately, it's not supported in this 4.3.1 update and more than likely, it's an older device that was discontinued. So you can actually already jailbreak with some of the older utilities out there like Black Rain and Lime Rain and Green Snow and a lot of that other stuff out there. So this is for newer devices on 4.3.1. If you're on 4.3, you do have to update to 4.3.1 via iTunes, and then you can do this. So you do need this custom IPSW. Again, all the download links are below. So we're going to open Red Snow, and uh, it wants us to uh, browse. We need to browse for that IPSW file I just showed you. So we've got it right here. We're going to drag it into this window. And uh, it has that selected. That's our IPSW. We're going to click open. It's going to process the firmware, and it's successfully identified. It takes pretty, it's pretty fast. Um, now it has to process the kernel, and it gets all the boot stuff in there, and it patches the kernel so we can get ready to jailbreak. Now there's a bunch of different options right here. Um, you're going to want to install Cydia. This is the untethered jailbreak. Now you can boot tethered. Essentially what tethered booting means is every time uh, you need to restart your phone, you need to plug it back into your computer and rerun Red Snow. It's a huge pain in the butt, not practical for anyone. And so you definitely want to leave this unchecked. Um, you don't need custom bundles typically unless there's one you have in mind that you don't really want to have to install through the Cydia repo. I just do this all later. And then you could under... Um, you know, a, a pwn DFU mode right now if you're already pwned, but uh, that's not what we need to do. And again, custom logos are not yet available for this device, or at least in uh, Red Snow uh, 0.9.6 RC9. So we're just going to click install Cydia, and now we're going to click next. Okay, so now we need to enter DFU mode, and actually the way that Red Snow recommends that you enter DFU mode has never, ever been the way that I've preferred. And in fact, I found that more often than not, it didn't actually work. So what you're going to want to do is follow my directions instead. They're much easier than the ones Red Snow provides, but uh, we are going to do this without much difficulty. So ignore the ones they have and hold the home button and the power button simultaneously for 10 Mississippi. Once we've reached 10 Mississippi, let go of the power button, but continue to hold the home button. And then uh, in the process right now, we're going to press next so that we can uh, get this process started. So ignore, push next and immediately start trying to follow my directions. So we're going to press next, hold power and home, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of the top, keep holding the home, and uh, we'll be entered into DFU any second now. So keep holding the home button, and we are now in uh, DFU mode. So uh, it's using the Lime Rain export. And uh, we are good to go. So we can let go for this. And uh, now it's waiting for the phone to reboot. We'll see this weird boot image on our device. And uh, other than that, we are set and ready to go. 
the first time around, Red Snow did unexpectedly quit on me. Don't get worried if that happens. All you have to do is hold the home button and the sleep wake button simultaneously again, and you'll boot back into your right there, OA iOS firmware, and then uh, you can rerun Red Snow and you shouldn't experience any issues. Your phone's going to do a bunch of weird, crazy things that will more than likely frighten you, but don't worry at all. It's working. We're good to go. This is excellent. And uh, soon we are going to have Cydia on our device. So this is pretty exciting. Keep waiting, keep waiting. You'll see some more text. Keep scrolling. You'll see all this change log stuff. It's very intimidating. Don't worry. It's a lot simpler than it looks from the screen you see right now. Uh, it looks like the uh, old Windows boot image is kind of frightening. And again, I mean, it, it just takes a few minutes, so don't worry. And you can see that it is now, there's the QuickPone logo. It's moving applications and make sure everything migrates well. So that's the great thing about Red Snow versus uh, Ponage Tool. Ponage Tool creates a custom IPSW that you restore through iTunes. And you do to get a clean, fresh, 100% restore with exactly what you want on there. So that is nice about Ponage Tool. That and if you are an unlocked iPhone, you can retain your Ultra Snow unlock without any issues. Red Snow won't play nicely with that, but uh, the good thing about Red Snow is it moves all of your applications, so all of your settings, all your text messages, everything is left interrupted in the process, and you don't experience any issues in the long run, which is really, you know, it's, it's pretty nice to see that everything's still there and intact. So uh, it's going to keep continuing moving applications. What we're going to do is speed the video in the bottom right hand corner up like mad so that uh, we can get it to uh, get everything installed and I'll show you how, oh, maybe it'll, maybe it'll finish. Okay, we're good to go. Never mind. I'm not going to speed things up. It's going to show the Apple logo and it'll go into your regular boot image. And then uh, it's pretty straightforward from there. You'll see that Cydia is installed on your springboard and you are officially jailbroken. So congratulations. It's a very simple, easy to do process. Please do donate to the iPhone dev team for all the good work that they do. I mean, it's a really stellar community and they do it for the users. So donating to them shows your appreciation for their awesome tools. Um, I donate every time there's a jailbreak because it's just something that I use all the time. And without jailbreaking, I would die. Um, again, if you're not totally in with the jailbreaking crew, you don't really know exactly why you'd want to do it, check some of my older videos out. I have some awesome Cydia applications that show you really the raw power and uh, opportunity that jailbreaking brings you. But you can slide over and you'll see that Cydia is on your springboard, all your apps, everything else is fine, and you're good to go. You're jailbroken? Congratulations. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.